One Oklahoma charity has a big problem that really, I mean, really stinks. Operation Christmas in McLean County collects toys and food baskets for families. But now close to 800 kids may not be getting any toys. New tonight, News 9's Darren Brown tells us about the four-legged Grinch. McLean County's Operation Christmas has been around for a while. It provides gift baskets and food for almost 200 families in the area. So it's not unusual to see toys scattered all over the inside of the multi-purpose center. However, it is unusual to see them scattered all over the front lawn. There's a strong reason for that, though. When I walked at the fire department, guys came in. They said, you better come out here and look at this. And I walked out the door, and you were knocked down with the smell of skunk. Get that? It was neither a Grinch nor a Scrooge that left his or her mark on this Christmas season, but a skunk. We found a few pieces that we've been able to salvage, but a lot of it we don't think that we have a chance for. These packages look fine from the outside, and even standing right here, downwind of it all, it's still not bad. However, the unpleasantness, shall we say, is lurking inside these packages. The foul critter made the dance mats malodorous, the doll disagreeable. Wow. The pizza oven's odiferous, and the stuffed animals, well, just plain smelly. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, I've had already a lot of phone calls, but people here locally that have called to say, what can we do to help? Peggy still plans on delivering the gifts this Friday, and she says Operation Christmas will go on as planned, even oh. with the casualties. So for the next couple days, Peggy's placing her faith in the Oklahoma wind and the generosity of Oklahomans. In Purcell, Darren Brown, News9.com. How awful. Now, as Darren mentioned, the plans were to deliver those toys and food baskets on Friday. Uh, if you'd like to help, someone will be at the center to take any donations until 9 tonight. And tomorrow night, we have more about that on our website at news9.com slash links.